get the smooth yet intense original flavor. Or try a sweet and creamy marble cold brew. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I was rear-ended at a traffic light. There was damage to my car, but I felt okay. The next day, my neck wasn't feeling right. So my sister took me to urgent care and told me to call the Barnes firm. I didn't think I had a case, but I did. After I slipped in the lobby, I thought everything was fine, but it wasn't. The next day, my doctor told me to call an attorney, so I called the Barnes firm. I didn't think I had a case, but I did. Not sure if you have a case? Call the Barnes firm now for your free consultation. You don't pay unless we win. I'm Karen. I'm living with HIV, and I'm on Cabanuba. For adults who are undetectable, Cabanuba is the only complete long-acting HIV treatment you can get every other month. It's two injections from a healthcare provider. I really like the flexibility. And for me, it's one less thing to think about while traveling. Don't receive Cabanuva if you're allergic to its ingredients or if you're taking certain medicines which may interact with Cabanuva. Serious side effects include allergic reactions, post-injection reactions, liver problems, and depression. If you have a rash and other allergic reaction symptoms, stop Cabanuva and get medical help right away. Tell your doctor if you have liver problems or mental health concerns, and if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or considering pregnancy. Some of the most common side effects include injection site reactions, fever, and tiredness. If you switch to Cabanuva, attend all treatment appointments. Ready to treat your HIV in a different way? Ask your doctor about every other month Cabanuva. With every other month Cabanuva. I'm good to go. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. A suspected catalytic converter thief stabbed to death after a local resident allegedly caught him in the act. We'll have the latest on the investigation. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Another round of rules going into effect at Knott's Berry Farm. What you need to know if you're visiting the park this weekend. in your way to Vegas to see Erica Jane and uh, Sean P. Diddy, Puffy, whatever, what you can finally call him, he reveals his official new name. It's coming up. Hey, good morning. Friday weekend just around the corner, and it's going to be a great-looking weekend with warm temperatures, even in well, there's some areas, hot temperatures. Uh, for the beaches, though, clear skies and beautiful weather. That's the place you want to be. 72 coastal today. Downtown, 86, 92 for the San Fernando Valley. 84 in the high desert. Inland Empire, 89. And Orange County Inland, 87 degrees. Frank, back to you. And we're following uh, this developing news in South El Monte, where a suspected catalytic converter thief has been stabbed to death. It happened around 2.40 this morning at a home on the 1100 block of Thienes Avenue. Investigators say a resident woke up to a commotion in the driveway and went outside with a knife to investigate. The resident then saw three suspects trying to steal the catalytic converter from his car. An altercation ensued, and one of the suspects was stabbed by the resident. The suspect died at the scene. Two others ran off. The resident is being detained and questioned. A federal judge has rejected for a second time a proposed settlement involving the homeless crisis in Los Angeles. Judge David O. Carter yesterday ordered the L.A. Alliance for Human Rights and the L.A. City and County to try and reach an agreement. A coalition of downtown residents and business groups filed a lawsuit at the start of the pandemic, saying that local leaders had not done enough to deal with the crisis. The terms of the second settlement called for an additional 1,000 beds for those with mental health and drug problems. The judge rejected rejected it, saying both parties brought him a deal the court had no way to enforce. The next hearing is for May 9th. Major sewage spill in the L.A. River has led to the closure of beaches in Long Beach. KTLA's Jacqueline Sakisian live in Long Beach with more for us. Jacqueline, good morning. Hi, good morning to you as well. Yeah, they're saying 250,000 gallons of sewage spilled. Starting in Downey, made its way up here in Long Beach. That caused all the beaches to close. And city officials say they are testing the water daily, but unfortunately, they do not think the beaches will be open by today. And that might be the case all throughout the weekend. But take a look at some of this video. SkyFi just flew overhead, showing you an aerial view of what the beaches look like here. You can see there's a massive pile of trash on the sand. And I 
reached out to the city of Long Beach to confirm whether or not that does have something to do with the sewage spill. We're not sure yet, so we're waiting for confirmation on that. But there are signs posted here notifying people they cannot go in the water. This spill all started yesterday morning after there was a malfunction with a piece of equipment operated by the sanitation district of L.A. County. It caused a temporary blockage in the sewer that then led to an overflow. The leak was eventually contained, but city officials believe more than 250,000 gallons of sewage still made its way into the flood drain and out into the L.A. River. This happened in the city of Downey, but since water from the river connects to the ocean in Long Beach, pollution did make its way over here. We spoke with one resident who was on his morning walk, and he shares what he thinks about when he heard this happened. It's always frustrating to have pollution in the water. Uh, Closing beaches isn't.